John here guys and today we are talking about the Cadix Kangaroo. Now the Cadix Kangaroo is a nano size camera with 1000 TV lines. <laughs> It is uh, switchable between 16x9 and 4x3, and one of the cool things is that it comes with this tiny little adapter. What is that for? That is for adapting your nano size camera to a micro size, making it extremely versatile. Now, what I have done is I have installed it in my Diatone uh, Cube 339. And why did I put it in that of all crafts? Well, that's because I have the 229 right here that I can put or leave rather the most popular camera in this size class, the Runcam Nano 2, so that we can get some comparison between these two great cameras. Now, I love Caddx's answer to how to solve this problem to be able to adapt um, nano size to micro size. Uh, Runcam has sort of a, a little adapter kind of like that, and I believe Foxier does too, but I, I like Caddx's version the best. Now note, one thing that you can see right away is that the kangaroo lens is a bit smaller than the um, Runcam Nano 2 lens. This is kind of the same size lens that you've seen in a lot of Swifts on the current version of the Foxier Aero Micro Pro. Uh, while the Caddx Kangaroo camera lens is much closer to um, like what used to be on the old Micro Arrow by Foxier. And uh, note, because of that smaller lens, this is an EOS 2 Caddx camera, um, but it has a lens the same size as all of these other ones. And this will not fit into this little adapter. So the only way to make this work would be like if you took the lens off and maybe put it back on. It's too much of a pain. Um, so this, unfortunately, is only good for this camera right here. It comes with all of your standard stuff, your little um, camera controller that comes in the box, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? How does it look? It looks quite good, but is it better than kind of the king in this space to run Cam Nano 2? And that's the real question. So if you were a cinema guy, if you were a film guy, if you were a video guy, you would probably prefer the image in the kangaroo better. The resolution is a little bit crisper uh, and the image is a lot flatter. Uh, now, when I say flatter, that means that the colors are not as vibrant. The contrast is a little bit lower. If you were going to massage that footage in post, you would prefer this flatter image. Uh, I also noticed that it has a very strong blue tint. Um, but if you prefer to see the most clear and vibrant image, I actually like the image of the Runcam Nano 2 a little bit more. That's just my preference. It's a bit brighter. It's a bit warmer. Um, the greens are a lot brighter green. The yellows are a lot brighter yellow. The grass. Uh, now I'm flying over some kind of, you know, some. it's, it's starting to get some fall grass colors here. And the Runcam Nano 2 makes it look a little bit brighter and more yellow than it really is. This makes it look a little bit more duller than it really is. So none of these are like 100% true um, type images. I do like that this camera lens is a little bit smaller, but it's also a little bit more pronounced. You can see this probably sticks out maybe one to two millimeters further, meaning that you're more likely to bang it in a hard crash um, if you were to have this on a full size, on these little tiny things, for the most part, you should be fine. Um, but this does come with the adapter. So if you do have that, make sure that you have a frame that will allow you camera protection um, without this sticking out. I don't think it sticks out as far as like the Predator. That si sticks out an obscene amount. It is just way too proud um, on that surface there for my comfort, which is why I don't typically run those anymore got tired of smashing predators so who is this for this is a really attractive price point it is kind of smack dab right in the middle between the Runcam Nano 2 at $20 and the Racer 2 the Predator 4 nano cameras that are about $37 $38 this comes in at $27 so it's pretty 
much in the middle. So you look at the footage, you decide if you like that high resolution, if you like that blue tint. Now, of course it does come with the camera controller, so you could adjust this. I like that it has this little connector right here, very easy. And I do really like the nano camera form factor. I think I'm gonna go ahead and be switching a lot of my cameras, even on my five inch over to this nano form factor. And the reason for that is it comes with the connector that you can connect to any of your existing five inch builds. I like the connector to be a away from the back of the camera that lets you get in these cameras into a little bit tighter places um, you can see that there is no connector behind this thing it comes off of the wires so to in order to install this i didn't have to do any solder i just plugged the plug in and the camera controller is easily accessible it was defaulted with the osd on by default so you will see one flight in there before i changed it off but i had the camera controller with me i was able to yank this little connector out plug it in and i could adjust my settings as needed i wanted to get the images for you guys default but of course you could always adjust those warm settings get it a little bit warmer closer to the run cam nano too but i wanted to show the difference out of the box i know a lot of us don't actually go on here and edit those so do you edit your camera images at all do you try to tweak it to get the best image that you like what do you think is the sharpness worth it an extra seven bucks for this kangaroo uh do you like the name uh, is the kangaroo because it has this thing and it's sort of like if you put it on there it's fitting into a little pouch um is this, is this an fpv marsupial accessory um i don't know thanks guys